I find the whole process very meditative. I begin by kind of talking to myself. And not just, hi, how are you? But, how are you doing? Are you well today? I like to think of it like the difference between a casual acquaintance and a very loved, respected family member. And it's that place that I, I go initially with my work. My name is Wendy J. Clark. I'm the founder of When Weave. I weave, I dye, I paint, I spin. And all of this is incorporated into what I've created in When Weave. I live in the eastern mountains of West Virginia. The landscape is just so utterly beautiful. I love being in the mountains, being surrounded by trees and the natural world. You don't hear these kinds of sounds. You don't hear this kind of music in other places. I'm tucked away on top of a mountain ridge called Buttermilk Ridge. Up on the highest point is this log cabin, and we're down in the lowest level. One side of this studio is where my weaving happens, and the other side is where all the dye work happens. Everything I do has to do with where I am and who I am. My weaving process doesn't start on the loom. My weaving process starts with watercolor sketch, which kind of gives me a color map, if you will of how I will then dye the yarns for a particular piece. Then the yarn will have to be measured. Every single bit of that yarn goes through these two fingers. From the beginning to the very end. Ends up being tens of thousands of yards. Then the yarn will have to be pre-soaked and then dyed. Dyeing the yarn is really rather exciting. It's like opening a gift. You have no idea what you're exactly going to get. It's predictable in terms of having done it for so long, but there's always an element of surprise. Even though I'm controlling to a degree what the colors do in the yarn, I can't control it entirely. And when I ultimately take it to thread into the loom, I'm holding every single one of those yarn ends in one hand, one single thread at a time. It has to get threaded first through what's called the reed and then through a heddle. Literally, no part of this entire process that doesn't come from my heart through my hands. And then I'm ready to weave. I love when I'm weaving the immediacy. You get to see exactly what you're doing right in front of your eyes. And it's, it's magical that it appears as you go. I really love the rhythm of the weaving process itself. I get into a place inside of my head, inside of my soul. I get lost in that rhythm, and I feel like I'm connecting to the work at that point. I think about the person for whom I'm weaving. I think about the integrity of what I'm doing. It's a very deep place, a very thoughtful, very caring place. I could weave very fast. I could look at it as a total production studio. Or I can stop and really think about every individual who asks me to weave for them. And that's what I choose to do. It does feel more authentic. It feels more like a part of me is coming out into the world. Every person is so different. And what they bring to my weaving is so individual. I try to take the most important element of what people bring to me and put that into the piece that I'll design for them. Whether it's just about color or if it's about a story, how I combine those colors is very individual depending on the person for whom I'm weaving. The amount of the individual colors varies in the way that each person varies. And I would really love for them to feel is the love itself, the heart and the soul that has gone into that piece. I would love for people to understand who I am, why I do what I do, how I do it. But I also want them to understand the significance of this work. It's not something that's from the surface. It comes from a really deep place within me. And it's an invitation to get to know me, to get to know my work in the truest sense.